Is it all about the glitz and glamour? Do we aspire to have that Hollywood smile, or are we looking for that extreme makeover? To find out more, I went to see Dr. Bob Carner to get the latest. I'm here with Dr. Bob Carner, aesthetic doctor to the celebrities. How you going there, Bob? I'm good, Steve. How are you? Yeah, good. Very good. good. Well, I think, you know, we're in a, in a room with lots of celebrities, but obviously from the, the 17th century. <laughs> quite a different look. Uh -huh. um, they're quite feminine, these guys. Mm -hmm. I mean, how would you describe... I suppose the, the fashion and the looks back in the back in the old days. Very well groomed individuals. You can see that in their clothes, the the way they've kept their hair, their facial hair, even their complexion helps having a complementary artist, no doubt. But <laughs> uh, of course, Botox wasn't of freely available there, not not in, in injection form anyway. In terms of celebrities, mm. um, what sort of look do you think they're going for? Is it is it still this? You know, um, I mean, we get it from America, you know, very much surgery orientated, or, or is the look changing? Is it, is it a lot more natural? Or, I mean, what do oh, you think? Oh, for sure. Um, most people, it's almost a frowned upon now to have the done look. It's better and it's deemed more acceptable um, to have a more natural, softer, subtle um, rejuvenation. Now, in order to achieve it, now you've got the uh, Dr. BK lift and it's a combination of I think fillers and, and Botox and mm -hmm. it's um, the results you get I've seen are, are pretty amazing I mean can you explain you know sort of what's actually uh, yeah. involved with that? Essentially it's using Botox and fillers but strategically in the face to pick up on areas that actually are showing signs of the aging process and so by strategically positioning the Botox and, and fillers we can essentially mimic a facelift. Mm -hmm. 